Hello, this is Battle Him. Um, this is my part two of my video on the narcissistic abuse cycle. And I left off on off of talking about the devaluation stage. So as an example, I I took the 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 situation of a wife and a husband, and let's say the husband is a narcissist. And I left off of the um, devaluation stage when, after 10 years of marriage, all of a sudden, the husband uh, starts singing a different tune, starts devaluating his wife, calling into question uh, his marriage, uh, telling her that uh, she's getting fat, that she's not looking after the children as she should, that she's not cleaning the house properly. And basically when they devalue you, what they'll do is they'll look at you in a um, with both your pluses and minuses. And they will accentuate your minuses and completely ignore your pluses. So let's say you um, spent the entire day cleaning the house after the narcissist uh, told you that uh, you're not cleaning enough and that you're spending too much time with your friends uh, you come home and say honey you know look I've cleaned the house it's amazing you know <laughs> like I'm just trying to trying to be better or um, I, I took into consideration what you said and I decided to clean the house. The narcissist will then say, Oh, well, you know, women your age uh, should, should spend more time um, hanging out with friends. Or, um, you know, you really shouldn't... Uh, uh, clean the house because uh, that makes you so uninteresting. It makes you um, not as interesting as so and so, who on top of working is a Pilates trainer. Look at her. So essentially, um, you've done what they've asked you to do, and now they have to devalue that. So, even though you've done exactly what they've asked you to do, they have to devalue that again. Because this is the devaluation stage. What you do does not matter. They won't analyze um, you objectively in this stage. They will only try to chip away at your self-esteem. So, you could be doing everything right, but they will hone in on that one thing that you're doing wrong, and they will accentuate it. And so, let's say the victim starts screaming and yelling, like, saying, what the hell? What am I supposed to do? It's like nothing is ever, you're never happy with anything. You're never happy with me. You're never happy with the children anymore. What's wrong? What am I doing wrong? Is there any way I can fix this? Because I want to fix this. Because you mean so much to me. And they start putting out all of this frustration that they're feeling in the devaluation stage. And the narcissist is sitting back and just taking in all of that supply. They're loving the fact that they've gotten you to the point where you're yelling, where you're hysterical, where you're stressed. Where you're feeling like your life has no meaning, where you're feeling like there this is the end of your life, that nothing else can fix it, that you feel your self-esteem is in decline, uh, you're losing your shit, uh, you're being frustrated, you're being depressed, they're just loving this. And then after all of this, when they feel as if the victim is figuring them out, and this takes a while because 
people tend to think of their past as a guide. So if you've spent 10 years with this person and they've been one way, and now they're completely reversing their behavior and acting chauvinistic and self-righteous and combative with you, you tend to think about what you've done because you rely on your past. They don't rely on their past. Their past means nothing to them because they don't have an established pattern of what they did. They're not capable of looking at having any insight into, into what's around them. It's all about getting supply for them. It's not about forming bonds or relationships or emotions or being sentimental. But the victim relies on the past in order to sort of analyze the future. And they start doing things in their past that worked in the past for the narcissist. So they start rem reminiscing about the past and reminding the narcissist about the past and saying, look at how great our past was. The narcissist is also loving this because it gives them a sensation that they duped you because they know that the, the past was completely concocted in order to make you frustrated in the present situation, in order to make you lose your crap now. <laughs> After you've become financially and emotionally dependent on them, after you've had children with them, after you've built a life with them. And so the victim is getting more and more and more frustrated. And the narcissist starts giving them the silent treatment, starts ignoring them, starts devaluing the, their accomplishments. If the, if the, um, if the victim uh, got a promotion at work, it's only because they were, um, it's only because the company is not as important as his company. Um, it's only because you, you've been there for 15 years and uh, they had to give you a promotion. Stuff like this. So they'll take negative, they'll take positive events and negate them. They'll take negative events and accentuate them. And this makes you feel as though you're losing your marriage. And you go to a psychologist and you say, you know, I feel like I need to change this about myself. I have, feel like I have to change that about myself. It's like maybe I am getting too old. Maybe I am putting on a lot of weight. And uh, maybe the kids are, are, you know, being harmed by me. So you see how the self-concept of the victim is diminishing, not in accordance with anything that is real or tangible or factual. It's all based on what the narcissist plotted. Because every time you engage with the narcissist, they will devalue you in this stage, irrespective of anything. But then there are some victims that get to the point where they themselves want to rebel, and they say, the mar this marriage is over, you're clearly not happy with me, they want to end the relationship, they tell the narcissist I want a divorce, 